Hello again, and this is a supplemental video to my ColecoVision cart video because I didn't make it through the game manuals like I figured out I had plenty of time to do. So we'll just uh, scan over these a little bit with the zoom lens so you guys can get a, a good look at the artwork that's worth seeing here. I uh, don't think we're going to uh, do every page or get too involved, but I'd like to show the the artwork, the graphics, that could be really cool. There's a nice little list of the scoring you can get in the game. And there's a nice shot of the uh, game system itself. And a close-up of the controller. And here's a nice screenshot of level one. That's pretty cool. And here's a nice screenshot of the last level, which would have been three on Atari and four on the ColecoVision. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm off on that. Maybe that was third, fourth level, and they're not showing one. But anyways, that's the uh, Donkey Kong instruction manual. And then we've got Venture here, which uh, these are actually cool just to see the art. You know, I, I love artwork, uh, fantasy artwork, video game stuff, more controller and system photos which I don't think we'll worry too much about. Um, here's just some green shots I guess. And uh, the ever so important scoring. Fun of discovery. <laughs> Adventure, after all, it was an adventure game. You're supposed to discover some of the fun for yourself. Mousetrap. Like I said, I got a friend who was a big fan of the Mousetrap game. I, I never played it much. Played the board game once or twice. But uh, it's pretty cool there. And we've got picture of the system and the controller every time I guess. Oh see here they're pointing out the overlay. There's an overlay. Oh look at that. I do believe that that's what mouse travel. But maybe not. <laughs> but uh, oh that was from the last video if you didn't watch it. I'm not sure what that game came from. That card came from. Some scoring. And here's a little stack of cheese for all those mousers out there. Replacement overlay. <laughs> Would have cost you two bucks to get a new overlay if you lost it. Which I'm sure many people did. And we've got sub rock. And uh, that's uh, rather interesting because I don't have that cartridge. Uh, yeah, I do. That's the one that was... Um, also on the Atom. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, I hadn't played it much. Like I told you in the last video, I bought one when um, my neighbor wanted me to get him one. And after getting him one and seeing it on his projection TV at the time, made me want to go get one. Somebody's got a nice little McDonald's sticker they put in the book there. That's not original. You can tell it's stuck on. Um. Oh, hey, look. There's a nice shot of the... Uh, joystick that you could get to go with the ColecoVision. I can't say I've ever seen one of those to be completely honest with you. But uh, that is pretty cool. Let's see it in the book. And we've got some screenshots and a couple shots of some of the bad guys. Another quick screenshot there. And the scoring. Multiply. Ooh, sorry about that. For each enemy eliminated, you earn the points listed above plus 100 points times the number of the round. Hmm. Very cool. And they had a mystery bonus. Fun of it. Discovery. Looks like that seems to be a common theme in these manuals. Looping. Got the system shot as everyone seems to have. And then this one's got a little more detail. It shows that same old shot, but it's got a little more detail on the controls here. 
how to play. If anyone wants to see any of this in any more detail, you can contact me and I might be able to talk into taking some photos and sending them, but for the video, I didn't want to get uh, too drawn out. I don't want it to get boring. Just really wanted to try and show the books off, show the artwork off, anything that was cool to see. Time Pilot. Really nice. Cool, and then it's showing the planes from the different levels. 1910, 1940, 1970, and 1985. Which is probably right around the time the game came out. It's also got a show of that joystick. It's interesting that I've never seen one of those. Never ran across one of them. But then again, like I said, I was not a huge ColecoVision fan. I was a Nintendo guy. And, um... Well, Atari... But I don't remember Coleco being around for very long. It, it didn't take long for them to uh, disappear once Nintendo came on the scene and started kicking some real butt. That looks borderline a little not cool there, but... <laughs> No more artwork, that's pretty much it for that. And then we we had the uh, pretty cool how to install cable VCR accessories. Don't know what that booklet's doing in there. And then we've got a ColecoVision catalog. Yeah. This could probably be fun to flip through. Introducing ColecoVision. Donkey Kong. Two controllers. Like I said, you can um, always use that arrow to back up a little if I'm going through this too fast for you to read it. Uh, I really wasn't um, trying to present this in 100% detail, just trying to give a nice overview and show the artwork. Donkey Kong, and it's nice that they showed you the arcade cabinet. That's kind of cool. I, I do like that idea. Space Fury, hmm, that's a cool name. That one doesn't ring any bells for me at all. Do not remember Space Fury. Some of these might be a couple repeats from that um, Parker Brothers catalog that we looked at at the beginning, but I don't remember Sidetrack either, so... This is really cool for seeing some games that were on the system and available in the day, but I never ran across, never played. And it's really cool because I like to see the screenshots. And uh, this this is giving us screenshots. Spectar. Hmm. Looks like something that might have been a little along the lines of um, Pac-Man. <laughs> well, ripcord. Yeah, there's a few in here that I don't remember, so that's that's pretty cool. Ladybug, yeah, I do remember Ladybug. And uh, that is one of them that I have, and we showed you that cartridge in the first video. Cosmic Avenger, that's got to be my favorite title. Not necessarily a game, but definitely my favorite title. What was put out. Zaxxon, definitely played it in the day. like we're uh, in the middle here. I'm going to have to uh, speed it up tad to try and get this in done in an episode. As you guys probably are aware by now, I like to keep them down to uh, 10 to 11 minutes. Definitely no more than 12. As after that, your GoPro wants to split files and I'd have to do some editing. And yeah, We don't want to go there. Football. Mama don't like the foosball. <laughs> you know where that's from. It's not me just making stuff up. Horse racing. Hmm. Definitely into some titles here that I've never seen before. Blackjack poker. 
Tunnels and Trolls. Man, that sounds cool. That definitely sounds like my kind of game there. Looks like it too from the screenshot. Ah, oh, crying shame I never ran across that one. That would have definitely got some interest for me. Chess Challenger. I learned how to play chess rather young, but I never got good at it. Couldn't say I was ever good at checkers either, but uh, did play as a kid. We played all the all those board games. Looks like we got two Smurf games on the system. Smurf, Smurf, and away! Mr. Turtle. Hmm, that sounds like a game my wife would like. She likes turtles. <laughs> yeah. She, actually, she's more of a puzzle player. Ah, well, let's see what we've got here. ColecoVision Expansion Module. Hmm. And Racing Wheel. Well, that would have been really cool back in the day with the racing games. And so, there you have it. My Coleco instru Instruction Manuals collection. <laughs> have a great day. We'll see you next time.